Trump just killed Joe Biden's EV dream. He's promised to stop the forced EV push on the common man, and he thinks EVs are a big scam. Biden just launched a new emissions policy that will destroy all gas car makers. He wants everyone to buy EVs, but he's not ready to bring those prices down. And the public has finally seen through the hype and have turned their backs on EVs hard. The EV market is crashing, and Trump's latest statement is the last ray of hope left for gas car lovers. And if you're someone who is considering buying an EV, watch this video very carefully because I'm about to blow your mind. Here's what exactly happened. If you thought EVs were the future, well, Trump's got different ideas. Trump's rallying motto? Vote for me, and I'll stop this EV madness immediately. He's positioning himself as the hero who will save the American auto industry from Biden's policies. So picture this. Trump is back in the spotlight, and this time, he's gunning for EVs. He's made it crystal clear that if he gets back into office, he's going to slam the brakes on EV production. We're not just talking about a gentle nudge here. We're talking a full-on screeching halt. His message? EVs are a disaster for the middle class, and it's time to bring back the glory days of gas cars. Now, why is he so fired up about this? Well, Trump's convinced that EVs are way too expensive and that we're all jumping the gun by ditching traditional internal combustion engines or ICEs. He's even gone as far as calling EV makers either stupid or gutless for selling cars at crazy high prices and relying too much on China. Yep, you heard that right, China. Here's the thing, Trump's not just throwing words around, he's tapping into some big concerns here. He's convinced that EVs are going to wipe out a huge chunk of auto jobs in the US. Think about it, more than half of US auto jobs could vanish, according to him. That's a big deal, especially in places like Michigan, where cars are pretty much the lifeblood of the state. So Trump rolls into Michigan, right into the heart of America's car industry, and drops this bombshell. He's saying that Biden's push for EVs is doing more harm than good. And the kicker? He's worried that all of this is just playing into China's hands. China's got a big piece of the pie when it comes to the minerals used in EV batteries, and Trump's not happy about it. He's painting a picture where America loses its edge in the car world and China takes the lead. But let's dive a little deeper into this because there's more to the story. EV production is ramping up in Michigan, with big names like GM and Ford pouring billions into it. But here's the catch. Making EVs isn't as labor-intensive as making gas cars. There's fewer parts, simpler assembly, but also fewer jobs and lower wages. It's a double-edged sword. Efficient, sure, but at what cost? Let me tell you about a few cases that'll make your jaw drop. There was this dude, Scott McFiggin, who got a small dent on his Rivian. A simple fix, right? Well, guess what? Fixing that dent cost him a whopping $22,000. Can you believe that? And it took over two months to get his car back. This incident shines a glaring spotlight on a huge problem with EVs. Most repair shops are clueless about their advanced tech, leading to insane repair costs and sky-high insurance premiums. We're talking about an average repair cost of $6,587 a year for EVs in the US, and that's not chump change. But wait, there's more. A guy in California shared how his EV's range dropped by over 30% in just five minutes because of cold weather. Imagine being in an emergency and your car just bails on you. Scary, right? And here's another kicker. A study by S&P Global shows that over half of the people who own an EV are thinking of switching back to petrol or diesel for their next vehicle. Now on to Biden. The guy's been pushing hard for EVs, setting ambitious targets and all. But now, the automakers are practically begging him to slow down. They're saying, whoa, Jack, this is too much, too fast. Companies like Honda, GM, and BMW are all pushing back against the EV regulation. But why the sudden change of heart? Well, these companies are realizing that the EV hype isn't matching up with reality. Sales are not as great as expected, and the financial strain is real. Even Ford is under a $4 billion loss, and GM nearly lost $700 million. Biden's administration had set targets for a huge shift to EVs, but now they're facing a backlash. Automakers are saying the EPA's new tailpipe emission standards are unrealistic. They're panicking about the financial implications and the feasibility of meeting these ambitious goals. And to make things worse, the US Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, just dropped a bombshell. They're proposing a new tailpipe emissions limit that is nothing short of revolutionary. We're talking about a future where by 2032, as much as 67% of all new vehicles sold in the US could be all electric. 
Yes, you heard that right. Two-thirds of all new cars might be running on batteries by 2032 and not gasoline. This move is the most aggressive climate regulation the U.S. has ever seen. Biden's not playing around. He's pushing the pedal to the metal on America's clean energy transition. The goal here is to massively cut down on climate changing emissions from the transportation sector, which, by the way, is the biggest source of U.S. greenhouse gases. So what's the deal with EVs in the U.S. right now? Well, despite a rise in sales, they only accounted for about 5.8% of all new vehicles sold last year. We're way behind China and Europe, but with these new limits, the game's about to change big time. Now, these limits aren't about forcing a specific number of EV sales. Instead, they're setting pollution standards for cars and trucks. It's like the EPA saying, you want to keep selling cars? Better make them cleaner, or else. They estimate these standards could avoid nearly 10 billion tons of carbon emissions through 2055. That's more than double the total U.S. carbon emissions in 2022. John Bozella, the CEO of the Alliance for Automotive Innovation, is calling this regulation aggressive by any measure. He's talking about setting up charging stations everywhere, making EVs affordable, and sorting out the supply chains for critical minerals. And then there's the question of whether people are actually ready and willing to buy EVs. The average cost of a new electric vehicle is over $58,000. That's a pretty penny. Well, sure, the Inflation Reduction Act gives tax credits to make EVs more affordable, but there's still a long way to go. So what's next for EVs? Well, the future's looking uncertain. Experts are doubting if we'll hit the 67% EV market target by 2032. Automakers are rethinking their strategies, and more EV model launches might get delayed. The enthusiasm for EVs is waning, and the market is in a flux. Trump's plan is bold and straightforward. Focus on hybrids and gas cars and bring down the cost of EVs. He's admitting that the charging infrastructure just isn't there yet, and he's not afraid to say it. And let's talk about those lithium-ion batteries that power most EVs. They're a global affair. Materials from all over, assembled in China, then shipped to the US. Add tariffs into the mix and EV prices could go through the roof. But wait, here comes a plot twist. Elon Musk, the big boss at Tesla and former Trump supporter, has switched sides. He's now backing Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and has even told Trump to hang up his hat. This isn't just a political spat, it's a clash of titans. Trump versus Musk, with the future of EVs hanging in the balance. And the EV market? It's in turmoil. Ford, once a pioneer in the EV revolution, is reportedly losing a staggering $36,000 on each EV sold. GM's not faring much better, with projected losses of over a billion dollars. And it's not just them. Toyota, Tesla, everyone's feeling the heat. High prices, lackluster charging infrastructure, and consumer skepticism are putting a damper on the EV dream. So what does this all mean? Well, it's a classic showdown. On one side, you've got Trump and his camp warning that EVs are a bad deal for America. They're worried about jobs, the economy, and losing ground to China. On the other side, there's the Biden administration and EV supporters who see electric cars as the future, cleaner, more efficient, and full of promise. It's a debate that's got it all. Politics, economics, technology, and a whole lot of opinions. And with the 2024 presidential race heating up, this debate is only going to get more intense. So what do you think? Are EVs good for the middle class? Should we be relying so much on China? Drop a comment down below and let's get this conversation rolling. I just uploaded a video about groundbreaking news that could hurt the entire EV industry. Do check it out if you want to be truly shocked by what's about to happen with EVs.